Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna review the long-awaited comeback of Aespa, girls. I wanted to upload this video sooner, but I was at home this weekend so I really couldn't. Anyway, a uh, quick disclaimer, these are my opinions only and I do these videos for my sole entertainment. Feel free to share your opinions in the comment section, but please be always kind. Okay, without further ado, let's go! Let's start, of course, from the title track. So, I had very expectation given the teasers. I immediately thought that I would have liked this song and that it would have been more easy to listen to and less experimental as Next Level and Savage. But I mean, given the fact that it's as power talking about, a weird twist could have easily been beyond the corner. So, I didn't know what to expect. And well, I was right. I liked it first listen and it left me in shock and like weirded out like when I listen to Next Level and Savage. For the same reason, I think it's a song that it will be less iconic and groundbreaking compared to, as I said, Next Level and Savage, but honestly, I don't mind it since I am not really a super fan of hardcore experimental stuff. Of course, it has still its dose of experimental, I mean, you can definitely tell it's an Espa song. I found it really interesting the sort of rock metal instrumental, but I honestly hope that the we with them girls with them girls that was shown in the teasers was the chorus. But instead is the post chorus, which is a bit disappointing. I vibed with the part so much. The dance break left me speechless. I didn't see coming at all, and it's not a typical move for Espa to have a dance break in their songs. Winter old up hypes me so much as well. The styling of this era looks really good, from the teasers to the MV, the girls looked gorgeous in basically every frame. Let's see for the stage performances though, cause the styling is not really a strong point for Aespa, or should I say for SM in general. And Karina with bangs is my new goddess, like, step on me girls, please, thank you. One thing I have to criticize is the line distribution, Ning Ning almost had no lines, or at least not impactful ones. My girl deserved better, honestly, considering also that she's the fucking main vocalist, for God's sake. Winter's vocals are amazing, don't get me wrong, but with only four members, you would expect the line distribution to be more fair. Instead, it looked to me that almost every line was of Karina. Karina's for sure an ace, alright? She can do literally everything. But, I mean, please, SM, don't transform this group into a new Everglow, where only one or two members get basically all the lines, because it's something that I really can't stand. So, overall, a cool comeback. I expect it to grow on me a bit, because that's what Espa songs do. And I'm generally curious on how the general reaction of the public will change, if it will, because it seems that not a lot of people like this song, but that's very common in Espa's case, where everyone hate their songs at first, and then love them and obsess over them, so we'll see how this goes. I already talked about it in my June review, so I'll keep it short. This song is really cool and it's funny because when I first heard it, I thought it would have been a weak track in the album compared to the possible others. An overall good B-side, sure, but nothing more. Instead, now that I listen to the whole album, I think it's their strongest track in the EP and the one more Espa style. I would have loved this song more if it wasn't for the chorus, which I find a little bit underwhelming and bland. But I really love the instrumental of the post chorus and I am obsessed with the slurp sound. I hope they will promote this song too, even because the choreography is their best one for me. Anyway, I don't think that pre-releasing this song kind abruptly, like without pre-announcing it at all and without an MV or a performance of some sort, was a good choice. I actually think it was a bad move from their part, since they also pre-released Life's Too Short, but that made sense because it's their first English release, they already performed the Coachella and a really aesthetic MV was released with it, so I mean, that's okay. But pre-releasing two songs in an EP of basically five songs because I'm not, of course, counting Black Mamba, Forever, and Dreams Came True, and we'll get that in a minute. Should we let them join? Nah, they don't understand our lingo. So, I have quite mixed feelings about this. 
I like the cowboy vibe of the song, I found it interesting and I like the verses too, but the pre-chorus and chorus were completely boring and useless for me. And my main issue is that overall this doesn't look like an Aspa song at all. Like I don't really know what SM thought when they decided to make them sing it, I'm not saying this song is bad. Again, it's nothing special at all for sure, but I mean, that's not a crime. Give them songs which don't represent them at all, however, that's a real crime. I'm not saying that every release should be the same, of course not, but I always like when a group releases songs which are quite different, but at the same time you can really tell they are from the same group, because they've established their unique sound. Espa as, or should I say had, their signature sound, we saw it in the Savage AP, where every freaking B-side was clearly an Espa song that you could recognize everywhere, and I think it's fair to say that we expected the same thing in girls. Was that too much to ask? I'm having all this fun, so why would I ever stop? Again, already talked about it in my June review, I repeat myself by saying that even if this is not a typical Espa song, I still enjoy it nevertheless, thanks to their amazing vocals, which really shine here. And I have to add that I like the Korean version more than the English one, which was quite predictable since the lyrics of this song are not its strong point for sure, and like this I simply don't know what they are saying. <laughs> And in general, I find that the musicality of the Korean language gives this song much more justice compared to the English version. Same thing of Lingo and Life's Too Short. It doesn't look like an Espa song at all. Even though I shouldn't say this considering that forever exists, but again, we'll talk about it in a minute, I really don't get why they decided that this was the right direction for them. Also, I'm not a ballad fan, if anything it's fair to say that I hate them most of the time. Having said that, I like this much more than I would expect. I mean, their vocals honestly can save everything. Well, not in every case, because for example in Forever not even their vocals could save the absolute boredom that was that song, which in the end is the only real stain in their discography for me, like seriously, I think I was never able to finish the song. Anyway, back to ICU, apart from their amazing vocals, I like the instrumentals of the song, it relaxes me and gives me a chill vibe, and I love the oh 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 part, I don't know why, but it puts me in a good mood. Overall, if they really have to do ballads, cause I don't know, the law says it, or their producers have a gun pointed to them, then this is the right way to do it. Overall, I think we can all agree that this mini album is not even remotely comparable to the Savage album. And no, it's not because in here there are less songs. Savage had an identity, a cohesion, a signature sound, while this album is just a merger of different songs, which look like they are from completely different artists. So, quite disappointing to be honest. And also, I don't really get the meaning of putting in this EP, Black Mamba and Forever, which got released one year and a half ago. I mean, I get that sometimes artists put in their EP or albums their single releases, but I mean, what's the meaning of putting their debut song here? And why not adding also next level then? I don't really see a point. If someone sees it, please explain it to me, I beg you. I don't even want to talk about forever, because as I said, I want to pretend that this song doesn't exist. On the other hand, putting Dreams Come True makes a bit more sense, because it was a special release, since it was a cover that wasn't promoted, so it wasn't a real comeback. And since it was released after Savage, but given the fact that it's quite a unique song, it probably contributes to the complete lack of cohesiveness of this album, which is quite a shame. I like the title track though, and I can't wait for the start of promotions. I think I'm gonna buy the album, but only for the photo book, because I'm obsessed with the photo teasers and their styling in the MV, so maybe I'll do an unboxing video? Who knows, stay tuned. Anyway, this was all for today, thank you so much for watching and please consider liking and subscribe if you like this video. See you in the next one, bye!